Yes, what's good everybody? So quick shit vid. I'm just literally dropping in on what's been going on all day on radio today. Um Marsh has come out and said that well he's he's always talking, isn't he, that bloke? Uh, I'm probably gonna I think everybody's gonna pretty much resoundingly disagree with me here, but crazy talk to me. Yeah, I've always thought, you know, he, he talked as soon as he got here just like he likes sound of his own voice, don't he? I'm not knocking him by the way, you know, I'm just saying he just has come out and said about Bielsa that their team was overtrained, and I know everybody's just going to say, well, they what, but and he's saying that's why they were all injured and stuff. When you could argue about, you know, he's just come in and rushed Bamford back. Bamford's got in, instantly injured, but I'm not making that argument. But you know, you just I think you've got to be careful what you're saying about people, especially when you've been here five minutes. Um, people are already on the way back, saying that the squad's much happier. You, well, that's then what happened. That's what then what the, the tabloids start doing. This is why I don't like putting stuff out in the press. I don't like talking publicly. I don't like dissing the team publicly because that's what you're doing. You're putting shit in press and then they go wild and then it's it was literally every headline was like every time they was doing like a they're desperately looking for stuff and you know you set yourself up and now probably backtrack on it a little bit but you know whether he will or not i don't know to be fair but then he goes on to say afterwards that you know cooper's the best captain he's ever had at any club saying that everybody's in really high spirits and willing to give everything i think well that's from bielsa isn't it i don't know whether marsh is just a bit love drunk with cooper but you know i mean i appreciate him saying that about cooper because you know then a few people that disagree with me about cooper will have to agree they're gonna have to pick which one they agree with so I, d I don't I don't know I just I don't know whether he watched us before, you know Cooper was the best captain in in that he's ever. Even though he's only been here a few weeks, isn't then he can he can already say that Cooper's the best captain he's ever had at a club. It's either it's one of two things. It's either um, he's only been at a place where nobody's really stepped up to captaincy mark, or he's love drunk, and you know. Or it's a massive diss to one of three things. Or it's a massive diss to every player he's ever had before him. Yeah, it's just too much talking. It's my overriding thing. I'm only, literally only dropping in to say that, to be fair. Um, just with squad being happier and stuff, I just think, you know, and saying that we, we're coming together now and we can really, because, of, because everybody's willing to put all effort in, that everything that we're trying to do is coming together and really... The the reason why we put everything in is because of Bielsa, isn't it? That's that is where it's all come from. You've just pay homage to it like he did initially, and now he's obviously gone against it and said, "Look, this is now all my work," which is what people do, isn't it? They go, "No, yeah, just to appease all fans." He said, "Oh yeah, Bielsa's the god, Bielsa's the god," and then switches it up, flips it on its head, and goes, "By the way, I mean the king is dead. Long live the king." I understand, but you know. I don't know what what are you saying? What are your thoughts? I don't. I just don't. I don't like shit like that being said. I think he talks too much. He can't wait to get on radio. He loves being. He loves talking, and he, he you know he says a lot without saying anything. There's a lot of words come out, and then nothing's really said. And this is the first thing he's actually said. So you know, it's like the first thing that actually sort of stands for out, and it would be just a diss towards Bielsa, really. Just saying that they're overtrained, saying that they couldn't, they were struggling to get back into games due to the fact that they were overtrained and mentally fatigued and all this, which I don't know might have been the case. Can't really envisage it, but and it's it's what got us to this point. It's like I've said before, what's he gonna do? Just be able to just drop what he, how he got himself there, because you're on your own in football, and especially as a manager you're on your own, and I obviously want us to succeed under Marsh. But I think that there's an element of, you know, you've got to be slight, slightly careful. You've come in and won a few games against teams that we would have beat with Bielsa under Bielsa. And I, don't, I won't have it argued. So, but what's your thoughts? I'm sure a lot of people... Have, I'm, not even, I'm not having a go at Marsh necessarily. I just don't, I don't like this type of shit out in public. Keep it in, in the squad. If that's what makes all the squad happy, keep it in the squad. You don't, I've just seen an in, interview with Guardiola. He never, he never, he never says out about players ever. 
it's always just like, oh, don't know. They just said, oh, do you think you're at the peak of your powers and stuff? And he's like, it just pretended that he couldn't understand English, I think. And they were like, peak of my powers. They were like, try to work. And then he were like, I feel good. And that's all he said. And it's just like that to me, you know, say what you want at players. But I don't know if we need to be going on radio and discussing that they were overworked under Bielsa. Because it's just shit headlines that I just don't want. I don't want to tune in to the radio on the morning and that be the headline. Make headlines in the right way. What you're saying. Yep. I'll be dropping back in. Obviously no game for a bit now, which is a bit shit. Good win against Watford, excellent win. Thought we were a bit cagey in the second half, a bit nervy and that. But a win's a win. And we are getting back towards, you know, full squad. Phillips obviously still not back. But yeah, drop in next couple of days with some more shit talk. Apparently, we're, we're definitely signing a striker in summer. That's what it said. And looking for an ailing replacement, which I think we get another couple of years out of ailing, to be fair. But what are you saying? Check my music out. All links are below. New podcast. Surprises why I asked no